Assalamu alaikum. Welcome again into a new lesson in the Naskh scripts. In today's lesson, we are going to learn Sin, Sheen, Sa, Da, Da, Ba. We will start with the Sin. Here we have the line. We add two dots on top of this line. One of them is for the first move, which is basically curving down to the right, just like a bur. So here we go down. The second move is going up, so we basically do this shape. This is the second one, as we can see. Now the width here is one point. We've got an imaginary line that shows us the angle of the scene, of the three nebirat, because scene has three nebirat like this. Sometimes they come together, horizontal, sometimes they drop and sometimes they sort of rise up. So when the scene comes by itself, they all come the same uh, height. Now the second move is basically going down and horizontal. So the first one was down, up. The second one is down, horizontal, as you can see here. And finally, that, this move is one and a half point width wide. Finally, we add the noon shape. With regards to the noon shape, down here you've got two points. One drop and another one for the this body shape. The inside is again three points. And with one point of drop right here. So, this is the scale for the scene. If we were to write it without the scale, we will get this shape. Now, notes to be taken, this thing, how horizontal it is, the width, one, one and a half, here we have the upward move, and for the, for this shape, it's basically a noon shape, we do it by dropping down, just like a very long connection, like the back connection, this one, then, from this point, we go down, for example, two-third of it, then we go up, just like this. And the width has to be three points, and there's a one-point drop here from the middle. Now this is the scene by itself. When the scene connects, things change a bit when it comes out the beginning of a word. So the first and the second move are all the same. The third one is also the same. But, instead of having all horizontal moves, we drop down a bit. You see, just like this. Now, this move and this move are thick. You don't reduce the size of them. Because it's a scene, not a bar. And you continue it with whatever comes after it. For example, if it was a ta, sit. When we connect the scene, we have special cases because it has nebirat. So with the hat, we do this. We do one, two, three, four. The fourth move comes upward, comes up to here. So you go up and you connect to a hat. Just like this. So, as you can see, you start, we, you can see how high, you, for example, if you want to write the word sihr, you've got a ha below the scene, so the scene has to go all the way up to here. And so that when you curve down, the ha would come on the line. And you'll be able to write the word sihr. Those two are on the same height, almost. Now this one comes high, higher. And here you've got half a point of uh, drop. For the hat. So this shape comes with this connection, the ba ha we talked about in the ba lesson and the ha lesson, comes with the scene too also. Now notice that you've got one, two, three nebula, so the third one converts into this shape. Meanwhile, if you had a letter after the scene, for example, sabaha, you've got the scene, you continue it normally, and the ba becomes the connection. 
So this is clear. Oh, sabaha. We've got one, two, three, and this is the but. Next, we are going to see how it will connect with the rot. We have two rots. Uh, we've got seen. By the way, the ha also jim and ha, and for the sheen, right over here in the middle, you add three dots like this. You make one, next one connected to it, and the third one is up to here, up here. So seen, and we are going to use this connection for this rot. We go down, we stop, we go back, and we continue the rot. For the other rot, we use a different connection. Now, here we are going to continue with this shape. Now, this is one, two, three. We know we have this rot from last lesson, and we know that this works also as a nebula. So for the scene, it works as a nebula. So this is the, the third nebula for the scene is here. Meanwhile, if we were to write yatarakam, ya ta ra, we will have ya ta ra. We will not have the uh, this one. So this one would be only a scene. If there were like three letters, we have to break one of them. This works as a ya ta yatabarra, for example. You never write this like this. This is for the scene. Uh, after the ra, we have the uh, mean. Now the scaling for those moves we just talked about, we took it before. So review the last lesson to know them. With this, with the mean and the ha, we have this shape. We go up. And we do the one like the Ra, the big one. And we connect it to either this meme or connect it to this Ha. So this comes with meme and Ha. For the Ya, we have similar shape, but it is shorter. It is the Ya move. For example, shape, laser chemically shape. For the different meme, there's another meme that connects. We use this connection. It's also used a lot in Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We go up and we go down the hat, the hat shape. So we go down like the hat and then we connect it to a meme this mean therefore uh, it's about the letters that it connects to it changes shape there's also this shape uh, go comes down sharp this is very sharp and it is high just like the hat one because here it's the same height you see these two they are the same height meanwhile here it comes higher this connects to this type of a meme. Sim. Uh, this is how we connect a scene to something after it. If we want to write scene in the middle, the letter before the scene has two options. It either comes and becomes thinner at the end, so that when we connect the scene, it would look just like this. So one, one and a half again. Don't forget about this. So here it, we rotate the pen and it connects from the narrow shape to show that it's a new, a whole new letter. When we have a bat and a scene, this is the shape of a bat, we also do this. The scene sort of starts with the starting of the bat. And we connect with that, for example. Uh, you could do this with all letters, for example, uh, fa, sin, or sheen, 
and we will connect it to a uh, for example let's write hisuha we have a ha from last lesson then we do this and we know that we have to start with the uh, start of this of the ha so we do this and there's a ha after the scene we're going to use this ha Now here I have to raise this hat up above because this is this is the part that it should be on mine on the line. So here we could raise it two points and start from up here so that when you write the hat it will come on the line just like this. This is the correct way of writing it. You need it to be on the line here. This one is not correct. And uh, the same thing for the uh, yeah. By the way, if we were to have a scene and a yeah at the end of a word, the connection would be this one. The sword yeah. Shape. Now, when you write the scene, practice this. You have a nebula connects to a scene then you leave a nice gap here two points then you go up a nebula another one that goes two points high after this nebula you add a scene and after this scene you add another scene again you add two points here you could use the full thickness to have a new shape Finally, after you've finished this part, so we've got one letter, scene, another letter, scene, another scene. At the end, scene can be uh, elongated. This elongation is similar to the bat one, but it's taken from the noon, and it is between 9 and 13 points. Now, the main rule about this elongation is that it drops two points from this part and you divide this length into three parts almost three equal parts for the first two thirds you're moving down the last third you go up so we start from here it's the same uh, scale as before you'll go you start curving down for the first two thirds then you start going up and when you go up here, before you finish, you rotate the pen so that it will give you this nice small finish here. So, how did we do this? We took the full length here, divided into three uh, to thirds. For the first two thirds, we go down, and the last third, we go up. And we have to have like a two point inclination in the middle so here we have a nebula scene nebula scene so as you can see if you had two scenes following each other or a sheen you add a two point gap or if there was a letter you have to distinguish the scene from the nebula from the letters uh, let's talk about the sod for the sod we have the line over here and we start by adding now they start learning it by doing the first move which is this one the burp move so you basically do a burp move now that you have this part you can add this skill and one two three so we started with this part first then we did the other parts this is the scale for the sod now here we have the uh, nebula, which we continue. Once you do this first time, you could start doing it the other way around, because you will wrap your head around the height of it. And what does three points mean? The three point means the length of the first move, this one. Then when you stop, you have another move that goes down here. So this will be measured in this direction. So this one is basically one point. Now you are left with one point of height, 
and this will give you one point on the inside it's basically just like a bow and you increase this down here and you curve the pen up and continue this way you will get a sod now for the first part you will find that some calligraphers actually curve it the other way around they make it curvy like this but it's very delicate curve so they will go up and then go down to give it sharpness as we can see here you will find both shapes by the way and you continue it the same rules for the scene apply for the sod uh, with regards to how to connect it for example with an elif it's just the same thing and you go up and you go down this is also a hilya when you have a ya or a meme or a ha after it it's the exact same shapes uh, so sod for example ha but when you connect the sod uh, with a letter that goes that back you have to be careful because here you have a drop so ha. it's basically the same rules as the scene with regard to this we've got this connection we've got also this connection and these small connections that we saw before if we were to connect the sod in the middle for example fayyidu half the pen to write the yeah we keep this part thin the, the one that connects to a sod or a bod and then we come back just like this you see how smoothly it connects and we finish it fade so to connect a uh, sod you add a half thickness move that smoothly connects you could add a full thick move but you have to be careful for this move so they have to join perfectly and by the way we could also use the uh, long move we talked about for the scene use it for the slide too so it's very easy very simple uh, you just measure three points here then one point here and this already is one point high and inside you have one point for the bar it is different for the bar it has to be uh, longer and thinner in a way so the inside of a bar is half a point we start with the same moves at the beginning we start with this move then we add another point right here in the middle we have only half a point not full point now here we have two points then the alif then another point so the ta is going to be longer as we can see here it'll be slightly longer than the uh, sod and you continue it and you don't have a part going down here so when you write a ta you go up right then come back it is thinner than the sod and here you have this part. If it was alone, if it were by itself, you, you just put two points of, ex of extension here. If it was by itself, it would look like this, where you will end it with a rotation and uh, you add this part. If it was, a, well, by the way, this one is like one point far from the from this part. So where to put the alif, you go to the right one point from this side, and here you have two, here you have one, and that's how you write it. When you connect a ta, depending on what's after it, there's a special case for when it connects with a ha and a ra. In this case, you do the first, second, and the third would slightly curve downward. It will not be going upward. This way, you either connect it to a ra or to a ha. So it would look like this. Ta. Ha. Ya. Nun. As we can see here. Normally ta would look like a ba. Because you basically go up. So talib would look like this. Because you're going upward. But for the ya uh, and for the ra and the they are also 
the hat, you just stop here and you come back. We see the difference between those two. Now, when we connect it from the light, when it comes in the middle, it's the same rules as the uh, side. You either give it a nice thin part, uh, you could also try and connect it to the Kishida hat. Just like this, where it connects from this part from here. And yeah, I hope this was clear because the bar is. Once you do the slide, the bar comes easier and clearer. And this is all for today's lesson. We talked about scene, slide, uh, bar. Now, scene, sheen are the same, slide, bar are the same, bar and bar are also the same. You just add the dots. For the scene, we learned the scale. And uh, the most important thing is the uh, elevation of the nebulot after each other and how it connects with different uh, letters like the ha, the ra, the meme, the ha. And you have to memorize these connections, special cases, write them on a paper and just leave them there for you to come back to them. And here's how we connect it in the middle. The same thing with uh, this one. And this is an important example to trap practice. Uh, here we have the sod. Nothing special about it, you just need to memorize the scale and remember that it's based on a bar. The same thing for the bot. Now, for a homework, we could write this one. And for that, we start with the butt, give it half the thickness up to here, take this part, do the seam, do the other shape of the seam. As we can see, this one points up, this one goes horizontal. Let's just zoom in. Then we continue. Now here they are all the same height. We continue this part. Add two points, then go up. Now here again, you find this one is straight. This one will be going down. It does not come to the same height. We go down from here and we give half the thickness to here. We add the second seam. Ocean. We give a nice space for the next scene or sheen. Finally, we finish it with either shapes, either this one, the short one, or you do the longer one. Now you could also write hmm, Khasib. You have a kha or khatib connecting to a side. See how we use the high but and you add a normal button here. Ha, so, yeah, and but. There you go. Try these two uh, words and you could try any of the other connections. I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Amar Awadi and see you in the next one. Goodbye.